Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some fun, unique coffee recipes for you that are really simple and some of them are keto friendly and dairy free friendly as well. I wanna say a big thank you to Javi Coffee for sponsoring today's video. They offer this coffee concentrate, which to be honest with you, even some of my family members call me a coffee snob and I love the flavor of this coffee. It's so smooth, it's not acidic tasting, and they also offer a few other flavors so you can change it up. They use artesian roasted 100% Arabica beans. They have a direct relationship with small organic farmers. They have sustainable glass bottles and has a no burnt bitter or sour taste, which I absolutely love. So I'm using the Javi coffee to make a great s'mores latte and this latte is going to be hot. So I used my frother without the frothing attachment to heat my milk. Next, I use a little less than an ounce of this sugar-free s'mores flavoring that I found at Walmart. Then to use the Javi coffee, I just put two teaspoons in the bottom of my mug. This is so quick and easy on the days I don't want to fire up my espresso maker and or go through the trouble of making iced coffee. It's so fast, especially when I'm trying to get out the door. And then I topped it with some whipped cream. And of course you can use dairy-free milk and dairy-free whipped cream for this. For the top, I put a little graham cracker, I drizzled some sugar-free chocolate, and I put a few mini marshmallows on top. Don't forget to check out the link and the discount code in the description box to try out Javi Coffee. The next recipe is a Starbucks dupe and that is their pistachio latte. I actually really enjoy this drink and I was absolutely floored at this recipe because it tastes exactly like it. You can purchase a pistachio syrup that's already pre-made but this was so simple. I just shelled about one third cup of pistachios. I used the jar to crush them up and then in a pot I added a fourth cup of sweetener and a third cup of water and I did use a keto friendly sweetener for this so this drink can be made keto friendly. Next, I used my stovetop espresso maker, and I know so many of you love yours as well from my other coffee video. It's just a cheap and easy way to make espresso, and you don't need a big expensive machine, although I do love my espresso machine as well. You just put the grounds into the compartment, you put the water in the bottom, and you put it on the stove top until it overflows and starts to fill up and you can measure it just like regular espresso. At this point, I felt like my syrup was ready and well infused, so I just took a little strainer, I put a paper towel in the bottom, and I strained out all of the pistachio nuts. And then just for fun, I put a little drop of green food coloring in to make the syrup look nice and green. it's time to assemble. So I put ice into the jar, I added in my two shots of espresso, and then I did a little less than two tablespoons of the pistachio syrup, and this, like I said, tasted so much like the one from Starbucks. I did put one dropper of my vanilla cream stevia, and then I added in some milk, and I did top it with a little bit of whipped cream and then some pistachio crumbles, and this was so yummy. I really think this is gonna be a great spring coffee recipe if you're making it iced. All right, so I've been mentioning, I know I think I mentioned it on my Instagram and possibly on another channel, but I have been making this 
coffee drink almost every single morning. It's called a dirty chai and I'm making it with oat milk, which I think adds to the flavor so much. I actually used to work in a coffee shop and this was my favorite drink to make myself while I was working. So I just whipped up some espresso. I put a little bit of ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon in the bottom of my cup. And then this skinny chai syrup is on Amazon. I added a little less than an ounce of that. I put in my espresso and then I added in my frothed oat milk. And just to be a little extra for this video, I did add some gold sugar at the top just to make it look a little more spiced. But this drink for some reason has just been hitting the spot for me in the morning and it's one of my favorites. I know I mentioned this in my last coffee recipe video, but I love this cold brew pitcher. It's on Amazon and it makes making cold brew so simple. So when you are going to make cold brew the night before, you just put some dark coffee grounds into that center console and then you let it sit in the water overnight. We are going to make a cookie butter cold brew with cold foam and this is kind of like a dessert, I'm not gonna lie. It is so yummy. So you just take a nice big spoonful of cookie butter and this cookie butter I found at Walmart. You can also get it on Amazon and I went ahead and poured over my cold brew and then I stirred the cookie butter in. Now the cookie butter is not gonna completely dissolve which I feel like is one of the treats of this drink you get little chunks of cookie butter almost like you're eating cookie dough ice cream or something like that and then I topped it with the cold foam and oh, this is so so delicious okay so I love thin mints thin mints are probably my all-time favorite treat or one of them so I decided to make a thin mint latte and this is a keto friendly drink so I started off with some espresso I used some sugar-free chocolate syrup and I added about 1 16th of a teaspoon of mint extract you want to have the one that is just called mint not peppermint for this recipe then I put in the espresso and really just melted all those flavors together. I made some frost dairy-free half and half for the top. I added a little bit of that chocolate syrup to make a chocolate foam for the top. Then the second batch of foam, I just added a little bit of green food coloring just to make it fun and really minty and just like a thin mint. I hope these recipes inspired you. Don't forget to check out Javi and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd love it if you joined my channel and I will see you all in my next video.